Okay, today is, I believe, day six. I've had him here for a little while. Um, I'm going to try and halter him here in the uh, his pen. It's going to be, it's different from the pen to the round pen. The round pen is where I've done most of my work, so he's a little more comfortable in there. So I'm going to come in here and just see how far our progression's gone. See if he's going to freak out or if he's going to let me halter him. And we're just going to kind of groom him and mess with him a little bit today. So. I'm just going to go in slow. I'm not going to go in like he's broke, but I'm not going to go in real scared, okay? Come in. I'm just going to go to his shoulder here. Let him know everything's okay. I'm not going to hurt him. If I've done my job right in the round pin, <clears throat> I should be uh, able to halter him pretty easy. Okay? So, he's pretty calm right now. Okay, I'm going to show him the halter, let him know everything's okay. Put it up around his nose. Okay. So that says we did a pretty good job in the round pin getting him quiet and calm. Okay. This horse here um, is quite a bit calmer than some of the Mustangs I've worked. It's not taking him very long to, to relax. So I didn't bring a, a lead rope in. I didn't want to add to any other thing that might make him jumpy. Everything I want to do is real calm and relax. So I'm going to go get my lead rope and we're going to do a little bit of grooming and continue with training there. Okay. I like using these longer ropes. small entryways when we start trailering. Okay? The reason I use these longer ropes, if for, a, for some reason that he were to pull back and actually be able to turn all the way around, he never gets fully away from me. One of the worst things you can teach your horse is that they can fully get away from you and get free. So this longer lead rope, he might be able to get a distance away but he's always going to stay connected unless he just really runs away. That's hard to do in a small stall. So. We're just, like I said, we're, we're going to be very patient. Okay. If I have to, I might throw a, a little butt rope on or something. I don't want to spend too much time in tug of war. Because uh, it'll teach them to pull back. So I'm going to go ahead and just use this uh, lead rope here as a butt rope. I'm going to go real slow with him. Here you gotta be careful you don't ex go too fast and he comes over the top of you. So you just kinda wanna pull with the face and pull on his butt. Okay, and again, if you do that correctly in the round pin, you uh, okay, you should be able to Safely navigate or safely get him uh, good. Let me get my thoughts here. If you've done that safely in the round pan with the, the butt rope, you should be able to do it uh, anywhere if you've done it correctly. So wouldn't recommend using a butt rope if you haven't done so in the down in first. Now I'm just going to spend time grooming, petting on him, and loving on him. We'll show another video later, uh, probably 
couple of days on picking up feet and things like that. So.